Hello. Good evening. <laughs> this is crazy. I cannot see myself and uh, I'm not sure if is anyone connected either. I'm having lots of uh, <sighs> internet difficulties with the video, but I will try to do the video anyway, looking at the camera, even if I cannot see myself. <laughs> Hello. Today I have a different problem, guys. Today I can see your names. I can see Matthew. <laughs> I can see Saul. I can see Tony. Hello, Tony. Welcome. Hello, Steve. I cannot believe there are so many people getting connected. And I cannot see my own video. Can you just write if you can see me? Because I cannot see myself. <laughs> I hope I look okay. I hope you can hear me. My computer every single time gives me a different type of trouble. So can you, anyone, please just write down if you can see this video because I cannot see my video. Can you see me, please? Can you, anyone just write it here? Maybe you guys can't hear me either. Oh, my goodness. Oh, okay, you can see. I look great. Yeah, uh-huh. Sure. <laughs> I have been here for one hour trying to fix whatever has to be fixed. I don't know what's going on, but uh, for sure is a spiritual intervention <laughs> because the computer is new. I changed the whole equipment for the internet and every single time I try to do the study, all kinds of problems happen. So I told the spirits, I don't care. I will do the show anyway, <laughs> even if I don't see anything. So just let's focus. Let's be positive. Let's hope uh, you will see what I'm showing. I don't even know where to point, maybe here. <laughs> this is. This is hilarious. It's, it's like a, a comedy show. I feel very bad. But my friends, as I always say, we have to persevere. Doesn't matter what kinds of adversities you have to face. You have to persevere and do the best you can with whatever tools you have. So I know I have a camera. I have a microphone. <laughs> so if you can hear me and see me, wonderful. I cannot do it, but today I'm already happy because I can see your names here. This is wonderful. Hello, Steve. Steve, I have to say super, super, super thank you because you are one of the biggest contributors to the Loving Bags project here in Miami 2019. Thank you so much. It will happen in December 8th, it will be a Sunday, and uh, we are hoping to be able to give uh, 200 uh, gift bags to our brothers and sisters that uh, live on the streets. I know homelessness is a terrible problem, not just in Miami, but all over the world. And uh, in the United States, it's very big. And uh, this, this Loving Bags is a very simple project that I created uh, six years ago in New York City. And I'm very, very happy that uh, my friends from Inner Enlightenment, they are continuing this. It's uh, wonderful. They are going to be on the, no, on the sixth or seventh year. I don't even remember. And we are doing the third year here in Miami. So I'm very, very happy. And I'm very thankful to all of you that are donating any items. And, uh, and we were going to put together in these bags and we are going to give to them on the streets of downtown and Brickell. 
and my friend Carla, she's doing the same project, Loving Bags also, but she's doing it in the Broward County. It's far from here, and it's very, very close to Fort Lauderdale, so she will be distributing with her volunteers in Fort Lauderdale. So double joy, we have two Loving Bags this year, so it's wonderful, it's always growing. I'm very, very happy to be spreading these uh, beautiful seeds. And as I always say, we are not going to change the life of any of the homeless because of this simple bag. But it's just a way to tell them, we see you, there is hope, and maybe somehow you can change your life, you can search for help, and uh, you can improve your situation. So that's exactly what we expect. That's what we hope. We only can hope. And the, yes, we can pray. We pray when we are doing the bags, when we are putting the bags together. We pray when we finish putting the bags together and we are going to distribute them. And we pray that each bag will give them a little bit of a joy so they can receive that with the love that we are putting on the, on the bags. So thank you so much to all of you that are helping this project to happen. And my friends, let's uh, start. I like to do a prayer, and uh, I, I always tell you if you have a bottle of water, uh, the spirits can bless it and they can help you to have a good medication for the next week or the next two weeks. So let's already do our prayer because we already have all kinds of uh, troubles. So we want to at least to be connected with the with the good spirits. I hope you still can see me. Uh, okay, Steve sees that uh, he can see me. Oh, Matthew also can see. Too bad that I'm the only one that can see whatever I'm doing. So I, I'm hoping I'm doing good. Hello, Gabriel Inácio. Nice to have you here. So many names. Too bad I can't see you. Hello, Teresa. Claudia Garcia. It's very, very nice to have you here, guys. So as I just said, I'm having technical difficulties. I cannot see myself, but you guys can. So let's pray <laughs> that I will do everything good now that I can't even know what I'm doing. So let's just close our eyes for a few seconds and ask for inspiration for the enlightened spirits. Dear God, beloved Master Jesus, thank you so much for another opportunity of being here online, spreading this loving message of spiritism, this message of hope and enlightenment. Please stay with us, help us to connect with our guardian angels so we can get inspiration to understand the message that we will be studying tonight. Please help us our internet to work so our friends will be able to listen without any type of issues. Thank you so much, so be it. So, my friends, I resonate that I cannot see my own video. Hopefully, next time, some other difficulty will happen, but at least the video will, will work. So, again, if you are new here, let me see if I can point. This is the book we are reading. We are studying Among Brothers of Other Lands. It's a beautiful book. We are already in Chapter 12. So, today we are going to be reading Advanced Cultures and Moral Disasters. It's a title from Emmanuel. So we usually study this book for 40 minutes, and then we go to the Gospel according to Spiritism for like 20 minutes, 15 minutes. So I already lost 60 minutes, so it's going to be shorter. But it's a shorter text so it's not that difficult so I will read it and uh, you can write your comments or, or your questions and then when I finish I can read and we can talk together okay so title advance the cultures and moral disasters Emmanuel but God said to him you fool 
this very night your life will be demanded from you then who will get what you have prepared for yourself jesus and this is in look so the text starts it is not enough to gather material values to guarantee happiness we know that at least in spiritism we understand that that the material things are important for us to survive but anything that's in excess is not necessary we only need things to survive to live well to be able to provide for ourselves and our family but we know that anything in excess can be a problem can be a difficulty that we get and we also understand that when we die nothing of this will come with us it will all stay here always stay here we were born naked we will die naked and we are only gonna bring to the spiritual realm what we really acquired inside of us nothing material but everything is spiritual really what did you acquire did, were you able to become a little bit better person were you able to learn with your mistakes with the mistakes of the others with the mistakes of the ones that surround you, with the mistakes the ones you love, that's, that's just what we are going to bring. Our mistakes, but also everything that we learned, everything that we improved. That's why it's so, it's so good, the gospel. It helps us so much to understand. We become a little bit calmer. We have faith. We develop faith. Because a lot of people, they are born with a very strong faith. Others, they, you know, little by little, they start acquiring it, understanding that the God is really our mother and father. He, she, like if you like to say God, he or she, is the one that really provides us with everything. But we need to have faith to understand. The time of God is very different than our time. <laughs> <laughs> because our time is now, now at this minute. We always want the things to that second. And we get very frustrated whenever something we want doesn't happen. But we also don't know if this is supposed to happen or not. Many times we want so much something, but that thing we want desperately is not in our profile of this reincarnation it's not there and we don't understand we don't understand but there is always a purpose maybe we misused it in a past life so in this life we will not have it and this becomes painful but only when we discarnate we will understand our issues but when we have faith resignation we have this little bit of calmness that help us to breathe and okay it's not now so maybe later hopefully will be later if not in this life the next <laughs> so let's continue nowadays the advanced cultures obtain prodigious deeds on earth in all of the kingdoms of physical nature since the control of the atomic forces up the astronautic achievements however among the most developed people of the planet two moral disasters of materialism materialism advance corrupting its strength suicide and insanity or more properly and obsession this happens because human beings do not supply them spiritual reserves and 